Enjoy a narrated virtual tour of foreign post-World War II aircraft exhibited at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. See photos and videos that cover a range of Soviet aircraft from the MiG-15 Faggot through the MiG-29 Fulcrum A plus a Canadian transport. The museum is free to visit and located on the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in southwest Ohio. By 1952 the Soviet Union provided the MiG-15, NATO codename Faggot, to a number of communist nations including North Korea. During the Korean War the MiG-15 operated extensively against United Nation forces. It was the best fighter aircraft in the Korean theater until the arrival of the North American F-86 Sabre. A defecting North Korean pilot flew the airplane on display to Kimpo Air Base in South Korea. Although similar in appearance to the MiG-15, the MiG-17 had more sharply swept wings, a longer fuselage, an afterburner, and better speed and handling characteristics. Its NATO code name was Fresco, and it flew against U.S. aircraft in Southeast Asia. The North Vietnamese flew Chinese-built MiG-17s. U.S. Air Force fighter pilots were careful to use their considerable speed advantage to shoot down the more maneuverable MiG-17, downing 61 by February 1968. The aircraft on display was presented to the museum by the Egyptian Air Force in 1986 as a symbol of friendship and cooperation between the two nations. The MiG-19 was the Soviet Union's primary fighter during the last half of the 1950s. It was their first production fighter capable of supersonic speeds in level flight. The Soviet Union phased them out in the early 1960s in favor of the more advanced MiG-21, but other nations continued using them for many years. The museum obtained the displayed MiG-19S from the 457th Technical Evaluation Squadron based at Nellis Air Force Base. In the Southeast Asia War, the MiG-21, NATO code named Fishbed D, was a dangerous adversary. It was as fast as U.S. jets and was more agile than the F-4 Phantom II, its main opponent. While American forces lost about 50 aircraft to MiG-21s, the U.S. Air Force shot down 68 Fishbed Ds in air combat. The aircraft on display, a MiG-21PF, carried air-to-air missiles but no guns. It is painted to represent a plane from North Vietnam's elite 921st Fighter Regiment. The Soviet-built MiG-23 Flogger, with its advanced radar and fire control system, could fire missiles at targets beyond visual range. Its variable swing-wing geometry and robust landing gear allowed the Flogger to operate from short remote runways. The pilot could select the wing sweep for low-speed takeoff and landing or for supersonic flight. The MiG-23 MS was designed for foreign export and was less capable than domestic Soviet versions. It was equipped with a less sophisticated radar housed in a smaller radome. The Air Force Red Eagles Test Squadron flew this aircraft during Project Constant Peg that provided U.S. fighter pilots with realistic combat training against then-state-of-the-art Soviet technology. The MiG-29 presented a formidable threat to Western pilots as it could detect a target more than 60 miles away allowing a pilot to track and shoot at opposition aircraft at long distances. Also, the pilot would simply turn his head toward a target and the helmet aimed the missile sensors toward the target, a great advantage at close range. The displayed aircraft was one of the six MiG-29s that made a goodwill visit to Finland in July 1986. The de Havilland C-7A Caribou was a twin-engine short takeoff and landing utility transport. It could carry either 26 fully equipped paratroops, 20 litter patients or more than 3 tons of equipment and did so during the Southeast Asia War. Its short takeoff and landing capability made it particularly suitable for delivering troops, supplies and equipment to isolated outposts. Caribous originally flew with the U.S. Army as CV-2s but were transferred to the Air Force and redesignated C-7A. The Caribou on display is a Southeast Asia combat veteran that later served with the Air Force Reserve. I hope you enjoyed this narrated virtual tour of the Air Force Museum's post-World War II foreign aircraft. If you would like to tour other aircraft in this series, you will find convenient links in the description section below this video. Here are YouTube suggested links on a similar topic that you may enjoy viewing.